call this squares and it will be an integer because there's just going to be a value in there um, go ahead and put integer now what I just basically did this is a two-dimensional um, static array two-dimensional means that this has got its own one to eight uh, kind of imagine it like a grid and then there's going to be um, so there's a height of one to eight and width to one to eight and that is a checkerboard if you would think about that uh, maybe you want to do something smaller just for an example so right now that is going to be a checkered board of uh, two by two so how would we announce something like this well it's pretty much the same thing um, one comma two is equal to uh, one int square this would be one one excuse me one comma two equals zero t squares two one equals whatever but whatever we want um, t squares two then two equals three four whatever um, so that's this is a two by two square and if you were to go at the first um, column and first row you you're saying this is one um, then the next one would be uh, zero so you have the first row but the column is zero the second column and then this would be the second row um, that'd be one and then f uh, four um, so it should look like from what I remember something like this if I'm wrong please correct me but I'm trying to do this quickly um, and I'll try to check that myself uh, so that's what that should look like on a square uh, by two by two. So we could say, I'm just gonna leave that for right now because I'm trying to quickly go over this. Um, but let's say you don't know your elements. Okay, um, we don't know what we are going to declare um, later. So what we're gonna do? This is called um, a dynamic array. We don't know the uh, the the elements, excuse me. So we'll go ahead and start with private again. <clears throat> but we're just going to leave it as this. Um, so how do we announce this thing? Well, in the form load or wherever we're going to um, we call is redeclare this, we'll use redim and then uh, int squares and then we say from where to where now because we know what it is and that should redeem it um, but then we have another case where we start announcing what they are excuse me one and we do more announcements whatever doesn't matter you could do two-dimensional arrays for this as well, um, but the the thing about uh, dimensional arrays, the two-dimensional arrays, is they take a lot more resources. Um, so if you don't really need to do a two-dimensional two array, please don't do it. Um, just stick with the one-dimensional. Okay, so we did some announcements right up there, but let's say all of a sudden we figure out, oh shoot, we need a, a uh, we have another element we just found out for whatever reason it's uh, eleven element 11 well we don't go from 1 to 11 then what we can do is um, what we call redeclare or re we'll just read excuse me re declare um, we do redeem again but we have to do preserve um, I'm gonna explain that why 1 to 11 um, what that means is that Preserve is going to keep the ones that you did declare what they were um, you announced. So these are the values 1 and 2 for 1 and 2 elements. Um, so it's going to keep those. It's not going to erase them. If we just do redim, it doesn't keep them. So we have now 11 elements, but we didn't keep the first two that we declared, so we'd use preserve. Um, and then we could loop through these again. So we'll do it. 
declare a number real quick, a variable number. So here we go, loop real quick. Um, for int next number equals, and we can do that low bound, u bound. Let's just go 1 to 11. Okay, now they're all going to equal 32. Um, we can also do, if, if for whatever reason we only want to reference not the int next number, we need to reference a real one that we know the element of. We just use like 5 if we knew we needed 5. So uh, maybe we only wanted to go 1 to 10, for example. And 11, whatever, for whatever reason, we want to always equal 32. Um, we can still do our above other ones. So that would do 1 to 10 equals 5. But the 11th one equals 32. Now we don't really need that necessarily in the loop. We could put that down below here. Um, 90 squares 11 equals 32. Then we could get rid of this because we only need to announce once. But the reason I'm showing this is you don't have to use 90 next number up here. Uh, maybe if you had a different array and you only want to get element 5 or 20 or whatever it is you can just use the number in within this for next. I know this is going to be a little confusing, but get used to it. Take some practice. Um, go on some other websites, look at other tutorials, and just get more help. Uh, what I do is I just quickly go through it. Um, then you could just give me some questions or whatever. I'll go back over it. Um, so that's going to conclude for right now. And again, if you really are looking for some more help or don't understand something, please ask some questions, comment, whatever. I don't mind helping. Um, so until next time, I hope this video has some help, uh, other than it was a little too fast for me. <laughs>